There goes my heart beating Cause you are the reason I'm losing my sleep Please come back now There goes my mind racing And you are the reason <laughs> That I'm still breathing I'm hopeless now I'd climb every mountain And swim every ocean Just to be with you And fix what I've broken Or oh, I Hey, love the girl, eh? Love her gone to bed. First day we meet the woman, then the brother. Quarry, quarry, first day we meet them. Eh, hey, security woman, what they get? Yeah, you know what? That's a more party people than bus. Wow, what am I going to say? I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going Miserable, yes, but it's a miserable company. I reason, no. Love her, man. Now you know, man. Watch years, four years. No, a second down. Nice. Put things together. Then a five year. I went, broke up, come back together. See, six year old, no. I get married. Tie the knot. Always leaving you fresh. Well. Yeah. Can't stop love her. No she do. Every good things start off so much. Everybody. You know, okay. Grandma say good things ever be done. It's a special day and I'm glad to be a part of it. I just wish them nothing but long life and happiness. Well, I'm very elated to be a part of um, Sir Brown's um, wedding. You know, we are here for his support and we wish him and his wife all the best. Sir Brown, happy big day for you. Maybe bigger than your birthday, but for sure still. But long life I wish you all the best. Yes, it's my idea. You know, but tell if it's a beautiful wife, you know she's supposed to look excellent, excellent, beauty. Yeah, today is my idea, full day. God bless me for if it's this day, long life, long relationship until the do we part. Yeah man, you know, so we're happy for everything we're going on over there. And they have a full support for now on. Yeah. You know, today is Marisa's and Chris wedding day. And I just want to wish them all the best. And I just want to bring God blessings upon their union. And we don't know later. No, go now, man. <laughs> Congratulations to Marisa and Chris. Today, you know, is their big day. And we're there. We are them back. We stand behind them. We embrace them when they fall on the left, and we embrace them if they fall on the right. Yeah. Oh. Okay, today is Marissa, my stepsister, her husband. I wish them all the best. Tickle and torn, rough, rock and rocky road, but with God, all things are possible. And I know that God has joined what God has pulled together. No man joined. Pull it. Well, today is my 
daughter wedding and my son-in-law. Wish them all the best. And I pray God blessing that they will continue living love and unity in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Well, today is my day, and I'm giving God thanks. Ah, oh, I didn't know I would make it this far. Is it really happening? Yes, it is. It is. It's reality. After all I've been through, I still got joy. That's my bestie, man real. What do you have to say about me? <laughs> Well, first and foremost, I am glad to be a part of this union, and I hope that God's richest blessing may fall on this union and it may last a lifetime. Well, I'm so happy for my wonderful and beautiful mother. Congratulations to you and your husband. I love you. Alrighty, I want to say congrats to my beautiful husband. I love her to my heart. And I wish nothing but the best for her on this day. Say something about Huzzy now. Tell Huzzy something. Well, I want to say I love you, Chris. You know, Aloha, you're miserable. <laughs> Aloha may beat you. Beat you under miserableness. But guess what? Nothing will stop us. Love you from my heart. <laughs> and that's my best secret Chris, over there, man. Tell you, tell you. Anywhere yeah. we are going to see. Yeah. <laughs> and that's my daddy over there. And the love of my life, my father, my everything. Yeah, and Malibu, my one and only. Abuela! Uh, Alright, so this will be what I'm shopping. Security. It's a pleasure. Yes, Siki, big up and nice, so. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm so sweet. 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 I'm so sweet.
face of this company to chime together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is holy estate, in the truth of God, signifying unto us the mystical union that is between Christ and his church, which is holy estate Christ adore and beautify with the present of the first marriage that was in Canaan of Galilee. And it is commanded by St. Paul to be honorable among all, and therefore is it not by any to enter into unadvisedly, lightly, but reverently, carefully, advisedly, and soberly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate, these two present come now to join. If any of you can show just cause, why they may not lawfully join together, let him now speak or else hear after forever all your peace. Anyone want to stop the wedding? Hmm? Anyone shy, you know, <laughs> you better come good. <laughs> I require and charge you both, as you will answer on the dreadful day of judgment, when the secret art of shall be disclosed, and all who enter who, and if any of you know any impediment why you both should not lawfully join together in holy matrimony. He now confess, for this is well, but I'm sure that if any of you know or join together otherwise than as God's word of a law, this marriage is it not lawful. You know of anything to yourself, this person is for you. So you're willing to go to yes. <clears throat> Okay, we come to ask God blessing. Uh, I'm going to call Bishop Leo here to ask God blessing upon this evening as we continue with the wedding. And we will rejoice and we will be glad. To our Lord and most heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise for this privilege. Oh God, our heart is indicted in a good matter. You said, Lord, what we, you put together, let no man put us in. And today, Lord, we're rejoicing that these two are here in our presence. And we ask your blessing upon them. Let no weapon that God against them be able to prosper. We ask you, mighty God, to have open doors that no man can open. Shut one, but no man can shut. And we are trusting you, Lord Jesus, to continue to cover this union with your blood. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to have to read the scripture reading.
waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall also confirm you unto the end, that he may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the portion of God, Lord, Lord, thanks be to God. Oh Lord divine, oh Lord divine, oh
church say hallelujah. Hallelujah. chapter 28 verse 1 and 4 28 1 and 4 if you have to buy one phone all who have to buy one phone leave your, leave your answer all who have a phone that have a Bible I know there's a lot of phone have a lot of game here and a lot of apps but don't have a Bible Genesis 28, verse 1 to 4. Let me, and I shall call Jacob, and bless him, and charge him, and said unto him, Thou shalt not take a wife of the daughters of Canaan. Arise, go to Canaan and Aaron, to the house of Beth Bethuel, thy mother's father, and take thee a wife from hence, of the daughters of Laban, their mother brother. 
and mother's breast. And God Almighty bless thee and make thee fruitful and multiply thee that thou may be a multitude of people and give thee the blessing of Abraham today and unto thy seed with thee that thou may inherit the land we are in thou art a stranger with God given unto Abraham. So we see here that the Lord instruct Jacob and tell him exactly what he need to do. That you need to, to get a wife out of the brother's house. I mean, it means get somebody that is a part of the kingdom of God. Get somebody to get married that will understand your Christianity, believe in God that will give you, you know, that support of a child of God. And this is what the word of the Lord said. But then in 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 12 to verse 15, get there. So we see that God is God required of you to get a man of God. And the Bible talks about that as an equal yoke. You must have joined yourself with an equal yoke. Amen. The first of which is 7 and verse 12. But to the rest I speak, I, not the law. This is God now is speaking out of himself. God speak, then Paul speak. Not the law. If any brother have a wife that believe not, and she be pleased to dwell with him, let him not put her away. That means if the person is not saved, when you fall in love with that person, you must not put him away. Even though it rather for you to take a safe man that will understand your faith. But if it happened like that, do not put him away. Uh -huh. And if a woman have a husband that believe not, that is not a believer, and if he please to dwell with her, let him not leave. Let her not leave him. I want you to receive now all of you who have an husband that is not saved, I want you to receive this blessing right now. For the unbelieved husband is sanctified by the wife. And the unbelieved wife is sanctified by the husband. Else were they children and clean, but no, are they holy? But if the unbelief depart, let him depart. And a brother and a sister did not harm a bunch of in such. But God called us to peace. Let the unbelief husband or the unbelief wife. Be sanctified by the believed husband and the believed wife. Then I have the church to praise the Lord. Praise what are you saying, Apostle? I am saying what God is saying. That each one of you enter into a covenant. And the covenant is that your body belong to him or her. You are not your own. And if you read the read of 1 Corinthians chapter 7, you will hear it speak to you. Strongly. Do not take what is your husband. 
take what needs your wife and give to another man or another woman. You guys belong to each other. And so is it you join spiritually. And so, because you're not only joined physically, but you join spiritually, then the anointing that is on your life will begin passing over to your husband or your wife. And to your children. What happened to that privilege that God has given us? What happened to that anointing? We can only talk in the anointing when we got the knowledge of it. And the people perish because of what? Talk to me, no question. We talk to one another. And so, how oh, oh long will we continue to be defeated? by something that we have authority and power over. How long will you not get in the spiritual authority and subdue or receive what is yours and manage it? Because you shine to over to deal with it in the flesh. But if you just understand that this is not just a flesh thing, this is also a spiritual thing, then you can able to partake of the spiritual authority. If you are saved and God have given us the power over the, over the enemy, the serpent, so if you are saved, it means you have authority over the works of the devil. That means that anointing is in you. And you married this man when I say it or not. You have the authority to get that man saved. The church, the church, not clapping. No, because guess what? You are fighting that man with your whole flesh. And you have not yet get in the spirit realms and have received that spiritual authority. And then now listen to me now. You're not leaving us tonight. That's the only the, the key is you can't rule your body. So you can't rule your husband. You can't rule your body, so you can't rule your wife. So when you say, come here, baby, you want your husband get mad. Because you're, you're not using the spiritual authority. What you do is you use his fail. You use what he's doing and don't understand that you are destroying your marriage. Some of you are going to pray now, but it's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to something. That spiritual authority is not there. You are, you are working that thing in the flesh. How do you know what the flesh is? The arm, the flesh is weak. But the spirit you are strong. And it's a greater is he that is in me, that is in the world. That means if you are truly into spiritual covenant, my daughter, there should be an authority given to you. To you first, and then that authority will be given to your children. I pray that right now this marriage will pray generation curse. No more, don't come to me, be married to, if you don't want me to come to you. Because it might not enter unadvisable. When you step in into marriage, you will understand you are going into spiritual commitment. It's a spiritual thing. And it's a thing that God present in Canaan to make sure that I'm with this. So we just come to that and feel good. Go home. 
What happened after it? No power, no authority. And I believed that if you sit here, understand, because if you don't understand, you will perish because of lack of knowledge, and you don't want, and your body are called, and the hope that is a command. We need you now. Ancient aggressive. I'm pretty come to you. No. You so you look at me. Trust me. Some of you believe in other man. That's the word of God. But that's the word in there. You can't have the soul. You don't have the day. What has it blown or one is you can't have the soul. You go to the word of man because you want the man, you go to the word of man and the man, tiny man, that didn't come to you. But God said, and your husband, and your wife, and you have no account over it. Then what happened to the power of God? What happened to the power of God? Is that if God is weak, but the other man is strong. You cry. You might burn me. You might cheese me. Give me chocolate and give me time. Because you are the authority. And you're not using it because you're doing it in the flesh. Some of you are the very one that is matching up your relationship. Because you're not using the authority of the Lord. You are doing it in the flesh. You fight physically. You're not wrestling with it. I say that wrestling and fight is two different things. What is wrestling? You hold on at the person. And you're not letting go. But you're fighting, you're wounded. Dumping. All who are fighting, stop fighting. Took your authority and hold it. You have authority over the enemy. You have authority over the flesh. God gave you the authority when you come before the public and the pastor pronounce your husband and wife. We are saying you both are no one. So be wife, be husband. In hand of you, father, and of you, my father. That thing look just so feel. I feel it. Give to Caesar what you to Caesar. I can't even make problem again. Because you're using the spice. No, you can't use it too. No, no, no. Don't use it as spice. Spice. What authority that you are not functioning into? And each time you move into one relationship, to another relationship, and I see it in here. That move into one relationship to another relationship because you're not taking up the covenant. You give it, everybody come. You lie down. Come in the covenant with me. Say, I'm not getting the covenant. We can't just do this like this. Let's get in the covenant. So you don't go in the covenant and then. Two weeks or one month, the man gone left you, and the woman gone left you. If you're in covenant, and you're sincerely in covenant, you're going to take over the marriage. And I say, not a broken heart, broken spirit. But you're not doing what you're supposed to do. You fight, you cry, you don't fast, you don't pray. Go on Facebook, YouTube, you mash up the hooks, the one back. And what did you get from it? Making matters worse. I go 
I'll just speak to the board of you because I see what happened in tomorrow. I have to speak to heaven. Wrestle. Don't fight. You're not even here to A two week now we're not doing fight. You know, kiss me when you come in. Kiss me. Yes, me knees, you can kiss me. Yes, sir. You are my husband. You see, these are the things, you know. We, we, instead of your kiss, you ignore. Come on now, sir. Instead of you trying your best to get it right, you ignore. It's not good. You are destroying. You are not working with the future. The bitch and me, you must work together. Fix it. Fix it. Plead the blood of Jesus. Amen. I tell you what to do to take the olive oil. And anoint it and say in the name of Jesus. I anoint it in the name of Jesus. This will not go where you're supposed to go in the name of Jesus. Well, you're coming. Now, I'm tired. Who ain't telling you, say, if you walk out yourself, that when you reach, you know, you can't self me right. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Amen. Go ahead. 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 They don't call him poor. Mm. 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 I'm going to tell you a little secret. Somebody called me and said, Ref, why you come at me now and go tonight? You know? And you may have a call. I said, What go on? He said, I want to get mad and I want to get mad for me. I feel like a good woman. I want to get mad. I said, I'm take a picture and send him. <laughs> come on. And as a dog up it on the making seat. In that same call, Mr. Walk one is a man. I know you're not. Show him what you're about to receive. Remind him of the pleasure that he's about to receive. Show the machine. Show the machine. Rada. Rada. Yeah, you didn't want to wait in any room. He's coming, man. They said again. Are we really wrestling for our relationship? Are we trying our best to get our husband to come to church? Are we really letting our husband feel like, yes, this is it? Are we letting our wife, letting other women feel important to us than our wife? No woman is important than our wife. No, sir. But according to God's word, that your wife is you and you is your wife. Amen. Up the man. Whenever you're going for a wedding, make sure you can your husband come. I don't husband it that here. Stand up. If your husband is not here. Don't you feel like the husband needs to hear this word? Yes. But he's not here. Whenever you pray, invite you out. 
do anything. I don't care how it's done. Carry your mask on. And if your friend kisses you, his husband, kiss your husband right away. And whenever you go out with your husband, don't hold on for the other. Don't let go of your husband. Don't hold him. I'm in your foot now at you. Hold your husband. Wrestle, but not with the flesh. Work it up. Work it in. You hear what I said? Yes, sir. You want to say, Mama? Work it out. Right. You think I'm going to quarrel tonight, you think? You're not going to quarrel. I'm going to cook it all this night. And give it to me. Love each other. Don't take it advantage of love. Because she loved me. Let her keep her hard time. No. You do not destroy love. You take care of love. Right there. And we're going to do more of this. Take it out. Yes, sir. We need it. And I'm, I'm, I'm willing to fight for the ministry. Yes, sir. I'm willing. Yeah. Me too. We're going to go into the changing of the power you have your own power. Face each other. Face each other. <laughs> Will you take that woman to be your wedded wife? To live together over God ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony. Will thou love her? Keep her. Honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsake all other. Give thee only unto her. So at long at you both, children. I do. Four, four. Yes, boy. Yes, boy. You see, when you say you're doing it, you're just writing on the record of them. Madam. So when anything I go on, you know, you say you ain't say I do. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Lord and Lord and clear. Yes, sir. Will you take this man to be your wedded husband? To live together up for God ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony. Will you love him? Honor him and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others. Keep thee only unto him, so at long as the boat shall live. I do. <laughs> we um usually I will go to the the sign and then I go to the sun, but I just fell in a spirit. I just go to the, to the sun first. Come. <laughs> this measure was a very deep measure, very rough measure that you get married in. Amen. But I know that the both of you want it an usher and security, and one is a missionary. And hold position in the mission department. So I want you guys to be of a great example to each to the ministry. Amen. I'm looking forward. Now I hope it's very kind of both of you. Okay, what are you gonna take the sign? Take the sign off. Right, take the sign off. And this demonstration is to show how. 
your then going to be now. The this is you now. Look at the color of the sun. This is you now, black sun and one of the clear sun. And the part of you, true covenant, through the vow that you are both make to each other, is misting you and her and human earth together. Do it. Take your time. All that thing that take your time for the one thing. The pet one show and the other one show. One show, we go up to the thing. Our house is keep our chair on. Right, come again. Watch it. Say more, say man. Why you marry something today? One. Sure. God have mercy. All down. Come on. Jesus. Hey. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it up together. I saw one of the beat, 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 I saw one of the beat. Now all people don't know me. <laughs> okay. Put your hands together for them. Put your hands together for them. Let me see. Can I have the ring? Love to get. Can I have the ring? We usually sing this song in Africa, but I feel like the child is not. Bless the Lord and Bless the Sent before God, it must be watched, and you know, use your olive oil. And you know, to add, make it easy, don't it? Yes. <laughs> Why is that young lady laughing? <laughs> I think she's a wise lady, you know. <laughs> to know what I'm saying. Okay. Let us pray. Dear beloved. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The ring is a symbol of your pledge and your faithful fulfillment of your marriage vow. The outward and visible side of the inward and spiritual bond which unites you together in endless love. That means whenever you see the ring on your finger, you remember that you're married. So when the devil tempt you with the key up, say me not take care. Because it represents my marriage. 
and I want to keep my marriage. So keeping on the ring is a way of keeping my marriage. Okay? It's a physical outward showing that you marry. Amen? And if you see somebody that look funny to her, to show them your ring. And he said to me, she said, listen, I'm married with him. Don't know where we start. <laughs> All right? Amen. All right, I will ask this question. Who will put on the ring for ladies or gentlemen? Gentlemen. Man. Because it got man first, not you. Yes, sir. The man will cut the way. All right, and you respect the man when you come out of the house. All right? Yes, sir. When you want to get the ring first, but the man will attack first, see? Eh? And for yourself and let the man be a man. Amen? Let me hear the amen from the ladies. Amen. Right. Because that's what God said. And outside of God, it's not God. Amen. Let it work according to God's word. Amen. If I let man, give them the authority. Support them when they speak, especially to the children. You know, don't change the children and go against them. No. Never. Give them their authority and their power. When they come out of the bed, give them another chance to come on the top. And take over and do something to them. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Alright? Let them take care of you when you become a baby. <laughs> Turn a baby that time. Alright? But take the deal off. Pay for the deal. Yes, sir. Took your responsibility as a man. Protect too. Protect them. Yes, yes sir. When you hear my name, I say, I'm going to go to the hotel. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to go to the hotel. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes. Sir. Let's go come to the bed. Come. Start up. I want to start. Put it part there and here, sir. Come on, I want it to start. And I want it. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Put it part there. Part there. Part there. <laughs> Say after me with this ring. With this ring. I D wed. I D wed. In the name of our Lord. In the name of our Lord. And Savior. And Savior. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Come on, clap them, Gretchen. Clap them. <laughs> I know, I know you know what to do. <laughs> She's well experienced. <laughs> You know when it's spirit? Yeah, try. <laughs> no man, Chinese, okay, we can teach me. But take care of your back. Yes, yeah. So you have to meet me with this ring. With this ring. I do wed. I do wed. In the name of our Lord. In the name of our Lord. And Savior. And Savior. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Put it on now. Put it on. Yes. Let it go. Right. Put your arm together for them. Let us pray. O eternal God, creator and preserver of all mankind, giver of all spiritual grace, the author of everlasting life, by your name that has been given for salvation, the name to be worshipped, the name Jesus. Send your blessing upon these thy servant, this man and this woman, whom we are blessed in your name, Jesus, that they will live faithfully together, may surely perform and keep their vow and their covenant between them that they have just made. Where this ring, these rings, are the given and receive as a token of their pledge. And may eternally remain perfect in love and peace together. Live according to the law through Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, and let the church stay. Amen. Let us pray, O oh Father.
and covers that means that now it brings forth open doors and privilege. Come on, from the benefit of men. May it now be blessing in every angle. May it spread and destroy anything that is not of God. May the bed be sanctified and be holy. May the unity be strong. The bond be strong that cannot be broken in the name of Jesus. Come on, come on, Chief. Up. Can somebody put somebody put the We're still 
kız. Bir anıma kız.
Don't go there, darling dear. I have something for you. Hear? I have something for you.
son and mother dance. Since his mother is not here, I'm asking his aunt to fill in for him. Would you please come down and dance with your parents, please? Since you love to dance, I'm going to dance.
Sugar and Anstom. I just have to sweep the pot a little. Yes, your Anstom. Because I know that you guys, when you hear that era of music, what's going to come? Come on. And as I said, I really don't believe on many bodies. And we got a pre-loop of what will be happening in the bedroom and the later on. But I'm going to be the general side of it. I'm going to call the bride and the bride and the party. The bride and the bride and the party. Now this bride, we need to show you what he's going to see most of the night. Just what he's going to see a while. But he won't know. Room spent, come and reply to the ladies, please. Oh, you want to come now? Ah, me. Yeah, what do you say about one another? So here we are now. You need to reply to the ladies.
So you will have to find the time not to know yourself only, but to know your partner. Because it is not me anymore. It cannot be me anymore. It has to be us. And if you can understand that just the same way you are learning about yourself, you are learning about each other. And this is what I have to tell you, don't give up. I know it's hard, I know it's going to be a challenge, but try to look beyond the situation. Don't look at it as it is like, oh, I'm tired of giving up, I'm, I'm throwing in the towel, he's not understanding me, he's not doing anything. But it takes communication. And if you can communicate with each other, especially on the pillow, it's one of the best communication, I'm telling you. When the two heads are the pillow and you can talk over the situation, not when you are heated and in a conversation that you realize it's not going anywhere and the person is not listening. It's best when you are both at a comfortable space and you can actually hear each other. So what I have to say to you, Mr. and Mrs. Paul, it doesn't end here. It is just the beginning. And it takes time and space to get to the point where God can really motivate and uplift you both to another level. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Music, I'm going to ask you to pray a preload of music while the head table is being served. After the head table is served, I'm going to start from this table, then this middle table, and then this way, alright? And it will be served buffet style. So after the head table is served, number two table starts off and it continues down the line. Alright? So music.
been there, guys, number one? Yeah, you don't know. Uh, Mauricia and I, or I should not say Mauricia, Mrs. Brown and I are friends for the past six years. We met while working at Hawkeye. We were both employees there. Two so, bad head there. <laughs> if both of us, if both of us working on the same ship, both of us guys could never be posted anywhere close. One of the east, one of the west. Because if it's a case in which both of us are this close, you know, the ship ends. So they would always post us separate, but at the same time, we find ways and means to meet in the middle. Any hope for me, we are going to meet. <laughs> I am truly, truly, truly happy to be a part of this union. I'm truly happy to be here. I am glad about the choice that she made. Really glad. I am happy, happy, happy for you. Happy for you. We've been through it. Who said teeth and tongue won't meet? Yes. We teeth and we tongue meet, but we know just how to resolve it. Mr. Brown? Take the best care, like you're doing already, of my friend. Okay? All right. I'll do a song. <laughs> I found a love for me. Darling, just die for me. And follow my lead. And I found a way. Beautiful and sweet I never knew you were the someone waiting for me Cause we were just getting we fell in love Not knowing what it was I will not give you love this time Darling, just kiss me slow Love your wife 
as Christ loved the church. And what I know about Christ loving the church is protecting his people, his care for his people. Amen? Um, when you look at marriage, you look at four main, four main ingredients that used to make a marriage perfect. One is respect. The other is compromisation. The other is communication. And the next one is the most important, is love. If you can respect each other, if you can communicate with each other, you don't need no best friend. You supposed to be for your best friend. You supposed to be for him best friend. When you don't have each other for best friend, you don't care and all mixed up. The most thing when we see with marriage couple is that people quit to run to people with their married business than trying to communicate with each other and see how best we can fix our married life. If communication take out of the marriage, you don't have a marriage. Can't tell you that much. If both of you not communicate each other, run. Cause the marriage automatically mash up. If you don't have no respect for each other, run. The marriage mash up. If you don't have no love, for each other, right. the relationship mash up. Feelings don't run marriage. True. And love run marriage. Spirit tech no run marriage. And love run marriage. You have to love your husband, you have to love your wife. You have to respect your husband, you have to respect your wife. You have to communicate with your husband, you have to communicate. I hear the chief of us tell, say something, you know, but we don't need to get this right. Because me often time you married people are talk say, me don't feel like you have no sex tonight. I put up on the not feel like you have no sex tonight.
Me and make sure me turn me back. Me not look down there. Can my mother down there? Your mother and your father don't have no dealings in your relationship no more. The Bible says when time you find your wife, you must leave mother and father and cling to your wife.
this young man should fall asleep and know his wife by touch. Let me see how good you are. So I'm going to let some ladies hold your hands up. And when you feel that you've reached your wife, just stop.
One, two, three. Yes, let us learn to follow tradition. Mr. and Mrs. Brown, could you please approach?
go. God in the midst, God in the midst of this, he will smile at the storm. Come on. We're going to go into the cutting of the cake. And I'm going to ask Mrs. Sterian Robinson to help in this procedure. Don't talk to me again. Mr. 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 Mr
You realize they put the whole in the name of the guys? No, no, put out the edge, you know. Come on, man, some pity in there. Pity in the name of come on. Put me a top pudding. What sweet you're going to sow on your radar. Thank you very much, Mr. and Mrs. Brown. Oh, please, please, do, do not leave here. Do not leave here. Yes, please put the other chair right here, man. Mr. Brown, please sit down. Mrs. Brown, please sit down. <laughs> Mr. Brown, the know you must, must, must have our friend was single like zero here. I mean like zero, minus zero, single. Call him. <laughs> man, man, man. man. Oh. <laughs> oh, all right, all right, all right. Hey. Could I have another chair, please? Now we have a task for you. I need you to find five single women, even if they're not zero. Five single friends that you have are nearly single, are all single, are look like they're not single. Sir, it's lobster or fish. Why are you going to be seeing? It's 
Love the earth, please. Please, swim along. You two ladies, where would you take him on vacation? Don't tell me overseas. Where would you take him on vacation? Again? To the beach. Royal Tank Hotel. So the answer is to the beach and Royal Tank Hotel. <laughs> beach, go on with your son. <laughs> ladies, ladies. So you're about to two now, sir. And the last question is. What would be your first question to him when you see him? If you just met him, what would be your first question to him? And don't tell me, ask if you have money. Don't do it. Are you comfortable? <laughs> 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 I would want to know something about you. Everything. She said she would want to know everything about you. And the other person says, are you okay or are you comfortable? Everything. Um, you want with everything. Okay, so you can stand up and show your truth. Okay, so you can stand Uh, 
Miss Shell Foster is asked to fill in for that. So, Love is indeed a truism that dwells within the heart. We don't know when it happens or when it gets its start. But the happiness it brings gives a special life, which is why we are all gathered here today. Marissa, my sister, from another Miss and Mister, thank you for being you always. You have been the big sister to me that I have longed for and I appreciate you. Uncle Chris, she's always on my husband's side, sir. So just know and never be wrong for me. It's paper. Thank you so much for loving her the way you have in all her glory. And for never letting her forget how bright her light shines as she is a barn star. From my experience, I just want to give these few tips with you. Always communicate. Listen with understanding, compromise, spend quality time with each other, never, and I repeat, never stop dating each other. Never go to bed angry as that steal from your joy of tomorrow. Always remember each other how much you love and how special they are to you. Keep all your promises no matter how small. Show appreciation. Please, I ask that you stand up, Chris, and hold your wife's hand and form a circle for me, please. Uncle Chris, I need you to hold your wife's hand and form a circle, sir. That circle that you have now created, that's the ground. Never let anybody else in. Most important, people believe marriage is the end goal. It's not. It's just the beginning of what is yet to come. So keep your God in your prayer, you praying for each other and praying for your marriage. Keep God in the midst of it all and you will conquer all. Today the pastor prayed for the holiness of your bed. No, I pray for its strength. For all that it will go on later. Everyone, just raise your glasses with me as we celebrate my brother and sister, wishing them a, a happy and blessed union, as we pray that with time, they will only grow closer. One, two, three, four, four. Good evening, everyone. I've put on the spot. But I am gratefully honored to get this privilege. Yeah. And as a nine-year married person, oh. I want to give you the It's not that I'm easy. Sometimes you will have to learn to compromise. You will learn to have to say yes when you want to say no. You will have to learn to pray for each other, even when it is hard. Because a lot of times we don't understand that we want something, but we don't think of the other person. And you see, when something is hard, as the Word of God allows us to understand that marriage is honorable. So this is something that God is in. And so you have to know that God is the head of your marriage. It doesn't matter what you're going through, it doesn't matter how you feel, always remember God. Because a lot of times we want to work out things on our own without involving the one that honors the marriage. And so I am grateful and privileged to be here this afternoon. And please raise your glass with me as we celebrate Mr. Mrs. Brown, Mistress Brown. And I wish you to live long, have a happy marriage, have body packets as the first head be fruitful and multiply. Yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Is Mrs. Macy Brown here? Yes, yes. 
Yes, ma'am, could you come up and give a toast to the couple? Good night, everyone. Oh, my goodness, oh, my goodness, I'm glad you're here. Good night, everyone. Amen. Tonight, it is indeed a privilege to be standing here to give a toast to my sister and my brother. Mighty God. You say, oh, my goodness, pretty. I saw my heart pretty. I am super, super, super excited. I am overwhelmed, I am happy, and I can go on and on and on and on and on. And the reason for that, I can say my counseling claim victory. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know, I've known Marisa, I can say for over 15 years. Amen. And tonight I can stand proud to say I've seen a lot of changes. Amen. 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 When we talk about notorious, we talk about Marissa. When we talk about miserable, we talk about Marissa. When we talk about never McDonald, we talk about Marissa. But my cousin, Sherry Ricketts, always said this to me. She said, the only thing in life constant is change. And I did not understand whenever she made that phrase. Sometimes it gets me so upset. I never understand. I always say, girl, you want to talk to me, friend. Or you want to talk to me, cousin. That's why you always said that. But I take a time to pause and I think about that phrase. And when I think about that phrase, I can say tonight I see it play out positively because I can say I see change in Mistress Brown tonight. Tonight I want to tell you, Mistress Brown, amen, to just allow God to do this for you. Continue whatever you are doing to apply the change constantly, continue to do it. And pray without ceasing. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Tonight, I just want to tell you to love your husband unconditionally. No matter the circumstances, always be there for him. And I want to tell you this one more time. The way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Cook him some good meal. Don't allow nobody to do that for you. I know you can do it, but you just got to spice it up some more. Because when you look at food, trust me, when it tastes it, more love grow. So I just want to continue to tell you guys to hold on to the unchanging hand, which is Jesus Christ. The race is not for the swift, nor the battle for the strong, but it's for those who can endure to the end. Tonight, I just want to say hats off to you, my sister. Hats off to you, my brother. And continue to grow together in love. Together forever in love. Love you guys. I just want you to raise your glass with me while I say the only thing in life is constant in change. Constant to apply changes to make your marriage the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I beg to differ on the way to a man's heart lies to his stomach. I beg to differ on that. The way to a man's heart is to know the pain he goes through when he's silent. That's the way to a man's heart. When you can understand him when he's silent. No, men will suffer in silence and they don't know. Because women have this idea, man strong and man is, men cry too. 
men feel the pain, but they hide it. We are not easily open because the reason why we are not open is that when we become open, some woman use it against you. So we battle it into ourselves. So the way to a man's heart is knowing what he's going to wear inside. Sister Elaine, Sister Elaine, I was told to call upon you to give another toast to the couple. Sister Elaine, can you tell Sister Elaine to me please? Sister Elaine. Oh, Sherry. So me get the name wrong, sorry. Mrs. Wigan, please. Yes, yes. Okay. Mother. My reverend mother, Wigan. Amen. What do you Good evening, everyone. Good, good, good evening. I am so elated to stand here tonight. I am happy for you guys. Um, I know Sister Marissa for a time now. I met her in church. And as Sister Melissa said, we know how she speaks, we know how she runs her jokes, and everything like that. We click from day one. And I'm telling you, tonight, just let God stand in the midst of your marriage. Just let God be the center of it all. Tonight I can say I am in my 16th year of marriage. We have ups and we have down. But I'm telling you, we always try to work it out. We don't try to let him in the church, but we have whole heap of things. And it's not like we go out and we say, we are going through this or that. We try to work it out. And we are here standing tonight. My husband is here with me as well. Alright? His shoes, not yours. 
Okay, here goes. Who in this relationship is the funniest? Uh, so they both think they are the funniest. Who is the first one to get angry easily? Okay, that's one for the man. Who is the peacemaker? Okay. Who is the better cook? Who is the cry cry baby? Why this couple seems to be on par. You know what they say? They seem to be on par. Let's continue. Who do you see is the most talented of you? Most talented. Who do you think would we really say would be the most talented of the both of you? <laughs> Obviously, everybody's going to be talented. Who is this? Who is the stricter one? Again. Okay. Very funny question. If trouble should come your way, who would be the first to split? I mean, quit. The lady answer, you don't answer no words, what? If trouble should come, who would be the first to split? I did not say split in marriage. By digger. No, it is. Why? We don't want the man. Stay neutral, you have a Stay not neutral, eh? Okay. Who made the first approach in the relationship? Who did they meet the parents in law first? So you caught you brought her to your parents before she brought you to hers. Okay, good. Good move. Man first. Who first said I love you? Why did you, this cook is a par, I'm telling you. And the last question is, who says I love you more often than not? Respect, boss. Respect. Stay neutral, man. All right. That was the last question, but we still don't finish with it. You can put your back on your shoes. Because a very, very, very tricky part is about to come. You kind of fast enough to do that. You have an agata? Yes. Okay. You're a boss. You want to take off the agata? <laughs> but you can't use your hand. Mr. Brown, may I see you again? 
what he only said. The lady's daughter needs to be taken off, and you cannot use your hand.
Okay, single ladies, ladies, hoping to get married. After three, one, no, two, three,
Jesus, you call in my name. Jesus, you call in my name. Oh. Jesus, if you call my name, I answer the answer. Oh, Jesus, you call in my name. Jesus, you call in my name. Jesus, if you call my name, I'll answer until the answer. God, in the name of our Lord Jesus, I just pray for you. We thank you, Lord, for this is coming to you. We thank you, Lord, for this is coming to you. We thank you, Lord, for this is coming to you. We thank you, Lord, for this is coming to you. We thank you, Lord, for this is coming to you. We thank you, Lord, for
tell you thanks. You know, as I was here, I tell you also thanks to open your arms and welcome me in as your son. No family, and I never get to the stranger and treat them like your own. These two young people, Elaine and Mr. Thompson, I never tell them no. No matter what the circumstances, I'm going to go to them and sit and hear my side, tell them the wrong, and tell them the right. Tonight, I leave my cap to you both, and I wish you all the best. Love, life. Thank you. Oh, God, you don't know how you're going to do it. 